Oh, I have like a professional development system. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know Hello. Baby. I took a half and she took the whole thing. So. It was just very, very nice. And not to mention the view inside of their office. Like, you could see the Empire State Building, the Macy's Building. Like, you could just see so much stuff. So, from, from Warner Music, y'all, he literally was an A&R for Music Soul Child. Um, oh, Big Sean, yeah. um, Trey Songz, Song. like the the catalog, the list was long. You guys know the professional development trip is literally tomorrow, and I'm currently trying on some fits to see what I can do because the model is all that I have is all that I need. I thought I needed to go to Zara to be her, but Zara is in my closet. I just need to use what I've got. I have these palazzo like pants. These are always so flattering on my body type. Like I just love the straight. The waist is cinched in the back, so it's really flattering. I think this is a good day one outfit. Day one, we're visiting Warner Music, We Work, and somebody else. It's a giving girl ball. We got time to be changing our hair, so we just gonna keep it like this. Last night, I actually went over my girlfriend Tania's house, and we had a cute little kiki, and it was nice. I really enjoyed myself. It's just really important to. Stay grounded and have community while you're in college. People that you can lean on and rely on when you're feeling overwhelmed and there's just a lot going on. And they certainly are those people that I lean on. I haven't done a pencil skirt in a long time. And I feel like because I haven't, I should. I have a lot of business. So many blazers. And because that literally was my style in high school. That's all that I would wear. I have this like blue and white pencil skirt that I could wear with a sweater. I have these storage bags in my other closet that's like down the way. Um, so we're just gonna look through this. I've got these really two super cute sweaters that I bought from um, Fashion Nova last winter. I have this white one. Now in another life, I probably would pair these two together, but not this life. It's very indicative of my personality, and I just feel like if I'm loud any other day of the week, why can't I be loud on that day? So, calling my mom because she's my fashion guru and she's not answering and I need her to help me figure out what outfits I'm gonna wear while I'm there hi mom okay mom I tomorrow tomorrow is the professional development trip and I need to figure out my outfit so what's the weather gonna be like tomorrow it's gonna be a low of 44 and a high of 65 on Friday it's gonna be a low of 55 and a high of 67 um, and it's gonna be raining, and then on Saturday, it's gonna be a high of 69. It's just, I don't know. I feel like this is a cute combination, but I don't have any shoes. You and me always be Something that I like to do is put a couple of dryer sheets on both sides of my luggage so that my clothes smell very, very fresh. I'm gonna pack a pair of jeans and a couple of tops just for those very casual things that we decide to do after five. I thought it was gonna be coat weather. You know, I thought I was gonna have to bring out the long line cream czar coat that we got years ago, but it's not gonna be cold. As a favor to everyone that was in her wedding party, my mom got all of the women the cutest customized little jewelry cases. So I'm going to put in here um, just a different couple pairs of earrings, my little necklace that I like to wear that says Ricky on it from Sylvia X Jewelry. And then I'm gonna put in my watch. I'm gonna finish doing all this, packing up all my stuff, getting my apartment back into a clean, spicky place. And then I'm going to head to class around 4.30. There has been so many different things that have you know, occurred today and just in life over these past few weeks. In my past life would have broken me, but 
it has it. And I am in awe of the woman that I am becoming, pressure that I'm able to be put under and still not fold. That's truly a testament of my faith, my problem solving skills. And while it's great to lean on people around you and you know, a lot of people have not been in situations that I'm currently in or have the problems that I have and they're good problems to have. When I sought out what I have now, it was like I prayed to be in that position, right? But you never know what's on the other side of that. Just because you get the role doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It's going to be challenging. There's going to be things that are going to make you want to quit. That's just the devil at work trying to get you to come off of your high horse. And you just have to stay strong and stay steadfast and say no. Like, I earned this. This is mine. And I'm going to do all that I can to stay in that position. You know what I'm saying? And understanding that you're human. Like, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be perfect and i'm not perfect no one is perfect i'm gonna fall short i'm gonna make mistakes and i want you to remember that it's not just what you know but it's who you know as much as you want to be involved on campus we'll say from experience just looking at like my sister let's say she graduated in 2018 she was not involved at all y'all but i think she had like two internships her work is not her being and i really admire that about her because as black women in the professional realm, it's easy for us to make our career our identity. And she has not made that the case at all. And when she was in college, she focused on being in college. She had fun. My mom, when she was in college, she didn't do anything. She didn't, she wasn't involved and she didn't have fun. So she was just in the house and she went to church. Little me, I lived the best of every world. I was in a Bible study group for months. I was, you know, studying, I'm involved. I work and I go out and I have fun. I show you guys the fun aspects of my life as well. You know, you got to kick it. You know, you got to keep key. key. Say all that to say that you can be successful without burning yourself out. You do not have to sit on a thousand e-boards and work yourself tirelessly so that you can have things for your resume. Now, I will say still work with your community because I'm doing the work now. All of my friends, many of them are going to be working in corporations. They're going to be lawyers, doctors. And I want them to know that they can call on Ricky Lee and the Ricky Lee agency to get the stuff done. Where is he FaceTiming me? Hello? Hola. Sorry. Oh, my God. Hi, cutie. Can he come? Yeah, I can bring him. He's so I was going to ask you. That's what I was asking. Y'all yeah, Bad. I need quality time with my nephew. You can come. You can bring him here. Just uh, bring a little puppy pad just in case you got a pee pee. I'll see you in a little bit. You ready for your debut? Oh my goodness. You want to do a walk? Listen. No, 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 no. Fuck. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. God damn it, Coda. Hey, you want to come in the back? Coda said, this is my house. Come here, Coda. Some treats, so I can have treats here for you. My children and I are going to go get some ice cream. Mm, what's the place called? Oh, no, we're going to get Tania first, yeah, right? He talking about shake no eight. Is it recording right now? Yeah. Looking <laughs> like Jello, full mint yellow, half Spanish honey shield, dual for the narrow. Look at your face, man. <laughs> it's gone, it's gone, Coda. Coda, 
Hold up. Oh, you about to fall off. Oh, look. See? I don't know how to feel because it tastes like a candle. And this tastes like lighter food. Don't taste like a regular ass s'mores marshmallow. It tastes like lighter food. Ooh, you took the whole thing. It does not, man. Hey, put that in the slow mo. That's a ball. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> We're getting ready okay. to leave. It's 7 7 this is not on time. 7 17. We're at the airport. We all just checked in. We got the man of the hour back here. He's talking stuff per usual. You're talking about us? Triple yeah. He thought I was Shout out to my rich bestie. Right, my rich bestie. <laughs> I just got through the gate. I went to this little Bob Evans Express and grabbed a little croissant sandwich, bacon, egg, cheese. As soon as we land, we have to drop our bags off at the hotel and then go straight to WeWork for our first tour of the professional development trip. We're gonna do a quick little look. Um, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna keep it pretty mild. But you know the drill, powder first. I'm really excited. For those of you who are curious on as to how I got this opportunity and like what exactly we're all gonna be doing and like why am I doing this, um, I'll give you a little backstory. So my freshman year of college, I was introduced to this organization. Hey, it's Editing Ricky here and I wanted to explain to you guys I got the opportunity and I didn't realize that there was actually copyright music playing the entire time so I'm just gonna do a voiceover to explain but my freshman year I was approached by Micaiah Davis um, to inform me about the organization because over the course of my first semester I really made it known that I was really interested in marketing on campus I had already started my digital marketing agency my junior year of high school and so from that my digital portfolio online as well as a lot of the work that i was doing was showcased on my social media and it was a covid year that i started college in 2020 so most of the opportunities and things that i got involved in were virtual and bosca would host virtual meetings where we could meet c-suite execs from a variety of different pr firms and advertising agencies and really just get to bridge the gap between students who are looking for really great opportunities but are minorities To the gym now. And I need to buy some gum and an umbrella because it's going to rain on Friday. So I'm going to come back to the terminal. I'm going to New York. I know you're not going to in my city. Good. Uh, what are you doing? You going home? Yeah. Why are you going home? Girl, I need a Again? Uh no, I have like a professional development system I'm waiting. Yeah. Be on my block. Yeah. yeah. Say hey guys. Hey. <laughs> I'm so excited. This lighting is hitting. I wanna take some pictures. Be like I could take pictures. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna uh, should I sit? Should I stand? I think I should sit and then just move like my bag over so it's like next to me. Go ahead. Thank you. Sorry. You wanna sit next to me, Michaela? Huh? I said see why you sitting here. <laughs> Hold on, let's see. Are we supposed to be? Who else? Did they get on another cart? 
Yeah. Okay. They behind us. Hopefully they. Hey, yo, man. When you get old, you lose your delivery. You better hold on to something. I was scared. <laughs> well, Ricky wanted to see us. Get no old ass to hold on to something. Please. We don't need them knees going out on this trip. I'm sorry. scheduled to visit for 12:15, and half of the group is in this cab and the other half is back at the hotel do you want to like a little is, hug is, or something yeah oh, that, yes, that's yes, something yes. with we work branding yeah, yeah. yes totally. let's, do it. let's do it you brand girls you so jealous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have to what i don't know what you're talking about okay We just finished our tour at Warner Music and Showtime. Really good. Now we're walking to GNS Communications. I'm leading the way. I don't know much about what we're doing. back there. And they're just chatting it up. Uh, Overall, it's been a good first like six, seven hours in the city. It's very busy. Was that the Empire uh, State Building? Oh, wow. That's actually crazy. That. Oh wow. I mean, I've never been in an office with this with this good of a view. Her office, her corner office. The wraparound, crazy. The wraparound just crazy. I wouldn't be able to focus. Okay. I would be looking out the window. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking big. We thinking small. We need to be thinking big. Okay, good. Such a color. We are the oh, color. We are oh, the like color. Oh, like the use? Like I have one in my bag. You want me to go with you? Hold on, y'all. Hey, listen. Day so one, we was together. Doing our own thing. It no, was. I think we're together. We, we're, we're together. This, okay. this is my young buck. We went to Warner Music. I got so the merch on and stuff. No. Oh, yeah. Swap films. You know you Look, you're done. You're done. It's been a long day. We ain't walking nowhere. Yeah, we're we walking down the street. Yeah, yeah, What's that? Yeah, Korean barbecue? Just like the rest of I'm not eating. I'm not eating. I love, I love Korean listen, barbecue. Wait, 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 it's wait, expensive, wait, wait, though. We don't have to do that. We need to focus. Whatever makes you happy. This man got you. This man didn't lost it. The tour at GNS Communications was really good. Like they were so nice and like welcoming. so welcoming. The entire staff was in on the meeting to introduce themselves to us, and that just felt real good. Right. It was just very very nice, and not to mention the view inside of their office. Like you could see the Empire State Building, the Macy's Building. Like you could just see so much stuff. It was a vibe. 10 out of 10, and they have some summer internship right, opportunities available just for Boston members, two to be specific, in the New York office. So 
we all got cards, and I guess it's gonna be a competition. Shout out, shout yeah. out, my uncle David. He really <laughs> loves I'm excited, but I feel like people are. You guys are gonna have even bigger opportunities. I'm the, I, I just appreciate the token. Huh? You said you guys as a group, as in like everyone else on the eSports. Like you guys are gonna have even better opportunities than than that. So it really does. It's just, it's just a matter of, yeah. It's very informative, very um, motivating. Very. Like, Joseph. Jojo from, yeah. from Warner Music. I learned a lot. He literally was an a and for was music, Soul Child. Yeah. Who else did he say? A whole Big lot. Sean. Yeah. Um, Trey Songz. Trey Songz. That's yeah. Like, the, the catalog, the list was long. The big, the big dogs. Yeah. In R&B. And, and he was just talking about how like, when you know you're good at something, like you have a passion, but it, you're not good at it, turn it into a hobby. And I really want all of the wannabe rappers out there to hear what he said. Because he also wanted to be a rapper, but he realized that he was a better producer. And so that's what he decided to focus on. Let's not spoil it. So he decided to focus on producing and now he's working at Warner Music and he's literally like a C-suite exec there. So the fact that we even got to be in his presence was crazy. And then we got to meet <laughs> and then we met an EA, an executive assistant to the woman who oversees artist experiences and all this really cool stuff. And she was so chill. Her name's Perry. You guys should connect with her on LinkedIn. Um, and yeah, we met a lot of really great people. Now we're on our way to go get some dinner. Dallas barbecue. Dallas BBQ. Um, my good, my good girl from school, Jalen, gave us this recommendation. And shout out to her for taking my pictures up there. <laughs> All heroes don't wear capes. Like, get back! I'm not talking about you touching me. I'm just feeling your breath. Touch oh. <laughs> my neck every time you talk. How many pieces of gum did you pop today? No. <laughs> Right, no, no, this nigga was stealing gum from my purse. That's how you know his breath stank. Oh, Drake. Wait, she was talking shit all day, literally. Smelling just like New York. <laughs> nigga, your breath smell like the subway. <laughs> <laughs> your shit smell like uh, earring backs. Move. One of these Somebody alleys. saying your breath smell like earring backs is crazy. Ricky, how your how camera stay charged all day? I got multiple batteries in my purse. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, you got a super camera. <laughs> hey, watch out, watch out. Left or right, pick a side, pick a side. You supposed to be on the street side. What kind of man are you? That is not gentleman-like. Baby, I'm not your man. <laughs> Nigga, but you are a man. More than me? Yeah, I got more facial hair than you. Shit. You look like a baby. Y'all see this? I mean, this is a nigga. <laughs> I list me. Hey guys, we just made it back to the hotel after going to eat dinner at Dallas Barbecue in Times Square. Um, we had to go meet our professor to go grab all the room keys. And I'm just now getting into the hotel room. It's nothing special. We're just staying at the Holiday Inn on 48th Street. I'm very exhausted. It's like 9.50 right now. I have two homework assignments that I need to finish by 11.59. So I'm in the process of taking off my outside clothes. Tomorrow, like I said, we're visiting Spotify, Victoria's Secret, and a PR agency out in Brooklyn. So it's going to be a very, very busy day. Today was so like filling. Like I feel so full. I feel like I learned so much about the music industry, the communications industry, and like, you know, serving clients and getting new business and like bit of endurance. Like we asked some really great intentional questions to these working professionals so we can get a really good grasp on like what the company culture was like at all these different corporations and a whole lot of other stuff. And like, one thing I really appreciated was that they were willing, willing to be honest and candid with us in really translating what the company culture was like, especially when it comes to DE and I. 
um, diversity, equity, and inclusion because we are black professionals, we are a black student organization, and when we come into these corporations, although the salary and the pay and the job and like the name recognition is great, it's still important for us to be getting, you know, those fundamentals of essentially work life balance, you know, them incorporating really great values like a lot of these corporations had specific committees that served um specific initiatives and they had like egcs which are like our employment groups and um they were focused on different things so like at we work they had like we color and like um we are able and like all these different groups that are dedicated to um, expanding their inclusivity and you know speaking on different issues that are prevalent for these type of people that work in the workplace which is really great pushing the needle forward and really making sure that we not only act like we want to be diverse but really implementing measures and moving the needle so that we are more diverse which is really exciting so we got to wake up bright and early in the morning around like 7 a.m so i'm gonna sign off now and i will see you guys in the morning Day two of the professional development trip, and we just finished getting ready. We're supposed to be gone by 8 30. Oh my god, we are at Spotify. Like, what the heck? Oh, this is so nice. Can we get a box of yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Let me know you guys are ready. You can see And then I can see you when you Yeah. Cool. 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 Like some recording studios in this building. Do you? Yeah, and then so we also have an office in Brooklyn that's all recording studios. Yeah, and so just so there are about 700 Black employees at Spotify as a whole. Yeah. Um, so just and that's globally. Um, obviously, a lot of them are based here in the U.S. Though. Yeah. Uh, but we do have. I was mentioning um, to the professor that we do have employee resource groups. So these are company funded groups. Basically, we're saying let's give you guys a budget to have community and to have a sense of belonging at your company. Um, so we have the Black Employee Resource Group. We have a spectrum, which is for queer and gay um, employees. We have... Um, is La Banda for like Latino? Banda, yeah. We have um, Space, which is for Asian Americans. So like, there's all these different communities. There's a women's workforce one. So all these communities, that the, the company said, let's give you guys a budget so you continue to can grow and you know, communicate with each other. Um, speaking of, we just had our fourth annual Black work Workforce Conference here in the New York City office a few days ago. Um, Trevor Noah was our keynote speaker. Damn. There was maybe a hundred people Sweet. in the room and Trevor Noah, so it was like very intimate, very he small. Here? He yeah, was here in, in the office. Wow. And when anything happens yeah. in New York City around the yeah. office, yeah. people like going off in the chat, there's like, there's a celebrity in the lobby, but we don't know who it is. <laughs> Finna say was I've been holding shit down. Especially on the question. So Ricky. Look at your pigeon. Yeah. Look at 
Joe Twin. <laughs> That's Adam Sandler. We just wrapped our tour of Victoria's Secret. We talked to a couple of copywriters and some PR specialists, and they gave us a lot of insights on what it's like to work here at Victoria's Secret. Um, not to mention the building smells so good. They said they pump the fragrance into the building. Um, but yes, absolutely stunning. The staff is amazing. Like I said, everything is PG King. Our last stop for the trip was to Playbook Media Group, located in Brooklyn. It is founded by a black woman. She works in PR with a lot of entertainment, um, industry professionals, and just a variety of clientele. And she gave us a lot of great advice. And they even did a presentation on effective rollout strategies. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Oh my goodness, guys. It's me. Again. I know you're like, what the heck, Ricky? You've been gone so long. And I know I've been missing you guys just as much as you've been missing me. But I'm very excited for this new year. I was looking back over my old videos and I made a vlog like at the end of last year. Like I celebrated Christmas with my friends. I did my shoot for that video. And it's just crazy how much has happened in a year.